Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have another unboxing, and I don't know if you guys could tell by my little setup here, but you definitely could tell by the title that this is going to be a double unboxing. This month we have a Wolf in Time and a Luna Lux subscription box to unbox for you all today, and I'm so, so, so excited. Sometimes it can be a little difficult to decide between different sizes of subscription boxes if different sizes are offered. In this case, there are two different monthly subscription options and these are the two. There also is another um, quarterly subscription if you are into that, that is four times a year. Um, but this is the boxes, these both are the boxes that they have every single month. So it's gonna put into perspective kind of what you get in either if you're kind of on the fence of whether you wanted the Wolf and Time box or if you wanted the Luna Lux box. And I'm sorry if you hear the AC, it literally just turned on, but it has been so hot here lately. I don't know about you guys, wherever you're living, but it's been so hot up here. I'm dying to hop into these and open it all up. Like, I know I say this every single time I do an unboxing, but when I open them up on camera is the first time I open them up. I really like seeing those types of unboxings. Um, I like watching unboxings in my own time. That's why I like making them. It's the content that I like to watch myself. And I like when it is like a genuine first response, just seeing everything the exact same time as the person who's doing it and kind of getting to see how everything's packaged. And it just really feels fun doing it with that person. So I like when you guys get to see when I'm actually opening it up real time. So I haven't dug into these at all. I don't know anything about what's in them. I've tried to stay off social media because I do follow Kat on um, Instagram. So I've tried to not look at anything and keep it a surprise. Um, so I'm super excited to dive into these now. I do have two different colored nails, by the way. This hand is black and this hand is like a silvery color. It was really funny because my last unboxing that I was doing, my nails were a different color in my filming portion and then the portion where I was doing like up close visuals of some of the products. And somebody had commented asking if my nails were different on each hand and i was like oh no just some time had passed in between filming them and that's why they're different colors but this time they are actually different colors so i think that's super funny so before jumping into opening these boxes i am just going to do a quick little rundown of the company the box sizes the prices all that jazz. So the smaller size box is the Wolf and Time box. That's the box that I'm going to open first today. That one has five items in it and it is $28 per month. So this is a monthly box. Everything in the box is vegan, cruelty free. It's curated with nature in mind, with the phases of the moon, self-care, magic. It's a really great box if you are into all of that and just like to focus on yourself and have something like nice as a little treat for yourself every single month. Um, and there always is consistently five items in the box. So that's really nice. You always know how many items you're getting and it is always $28. And then the Luna Lux box is the larger size box, which has 10 items per month and is $68 a month. So just to give an example of some of the things that come in the box, there are organic teas, crystals, rituals, nature inspired artisan crafts, handmade goods, original artworks, oracle cards, books, altar decor, spiritual tools, holistic self-care and more. And it seriously is, there is so much that goes into these boxes. If you are interested in witchcraft or if you're just like figuring out your practice and what you personally believe, kind of getting to know things, it's always nice. There usually is a ritual that comes in the boxes, something to have to do with self-care, something to have to do with the practice and everything is themed. So each box, each month has its own theme. These are both for the month of July. Um, usually on the website, there is an option if there are any additional boxes left over. Um, there is a section where you can shop previous boxes if you like ones that you're seeing here and you're bummed out that you missed it this month. Um, you could go on and check and see if there is any of the boxes available. She also often sells individual items from boxes. I mean, there's also items on her website that aren't included in the box. You could definitely go on and shop on the website and see if any particular item or anything else that you're interested in is listed on the website for sale. And then I also do still have a coupon code. My XWolf15 code is still valid for 15% off your first box if you're thinking about getting this box and wanted to save a little on the first time that you order it. There's something else I wanted to say too that popped into my head and I totally forgot. Oh, I wanted to mention, if you did want to order for next month, you have until July 31st. I did just want to mention that because I definitely will get this video up well before July 31st. So if you see this, you're interested in it, you will have plenty of time to order the box and you will get August box next month. I always link Kat's YouTube channel in the description box, but I wanted to mention it as well. The creator and curator for this box, for these boxes, Kat also has a YouTube channel. It's at the Luna Loft where she actually films creating the paintings that she makes and also turns into prints that often get put in the boxes. They are all hand painted and then she makes prints of them. So it's pretty amazing to see the ritual that goes into creating them and see really the thought that goes into creating these pieces that get put in these boxes. So definitely go check her out. Her channel is really amazing. 
All right, I got my baby scissors. I don't know why I use these every time. It's kind of been a running theme now and I feel like I can't use any other scissors now that I've used these. So I'm just gonna cut into this box now. All right, here it is. I'm gonna peel these back here. And on top, we have a print. Just like I said before, this is the print I was talking about. It's been like ASMR here. <laughs> Look at how beautiful these are. This is what I meant when I said that cat makes paintings that she turns into prints. So the fact that we get a different print every single month is insane to me. This one is a dragonfly. So, so, so beautiful. It also has a little air symbol on top. Last month we had a water symbol and this one we have air, which is so, so nice and different elements. I'm gonna take it out of the plastic. She always has the bottom of her paintings with a little wax seal and now she dates them. It's not, this one's not a wax seal, it is a print of it, but the little touch, it's like a perfect little signature. So beautiful. So that is the first item in the box. Dragonfly Mist is an original watercolor painting done of a dragonfly hovering over the swaying ferns in the breeze. It has the element symbol of air and creates an energy of time standing still. The dragonfly represents agility, transformation, and prosperity with the energy center of root and sacrum, the mineral of rainbow quartz, and the element of air. Folk stories from Japan cite the dragonfly as the perfect way to bring their ancestors back for a visit from the veil, riding on its winged energy. The fern waves in the breeze and is very similar to the fan in how it moves. It is used to dispel negativity, promotes mental clarity, adds protection, health, and luck to your daily life. If you would like to see your painting in a time-lapse shaman ritual being created, visit the YouTube channel, The Luna Loft. And like I said, that'll be included in my description box. We have some incense. Mm. I did burn the one from the last box and it was so nice. This one smells so different. Like, not like any incense I've had, but in like the best way possible, if that makes sense. It smells sweet almost. I don't want to say like chocolate, it doesn't smell like chocolate, but it smells sweet and really nice. It doesn't smell like incense to me. It smells really, really nice. And I love the smell of incense. So I don't know, I'm excited to burn this and see what this is. I see a fan, so I'm gonna grab this. Ooh, this is really pretty. It's a floral fan. Oh, I love that. I used to have a fan like this when I was little and I was like so obsessed with like folding it out and like just like playing with it. I thought it was so beautiful and I still think fans are absolutely beautiful. This one is super fitting for the summer with some flowers all over it. Really, really pretty, I love this. I totally would be bougie and like bring this with me everywhere I went. Super effective by the way. This is like making a wing gust. So this is the second item in the box. This vintage Japanese fan is made of satin fabric and bamboo and opens gently into a beautiful botanical scene. Originally created in Japan in the 6th century, the fan was used in the ancient art of feng shui, water, earth, fire, wood, and metal. It was also used by the ancient Chinese in casting spells, calling upon spirits, and many magical applications. Fans made of feathers were used in shamanic rituals and in smudging ceremonies. As you connect to your new magical tool, create a sacred use for yours, and use the element of air to create your intentions. You can also use it to fan away negative energy from your aura, and fan on positive cleansing when you use your aura spray. As you spritz the spray into the air, simply fan the mist onto you to enhance your energy. Here we have rolled up. This is different. They're usually not rolled. They're usually folded like a trifold. So this is the scroll. There's a butterfly sticker on it this month. If you guys can see, I love these stickers. I don't wanna like rip it. Let me see if I could successfully take this off without ripping it. Oh yeah, I got this. Heck yes. Okay, beautiful. I did it, guys. This is new paper. Ooh, I love this. So I'll show you guys the scroll quickly. This is what the scroll looks like that we get in the box that describes everything that is included. I'm not gonna read anything about what else is in the box. Usually I pick this up first and just read um, a little bit about the theme so you guys could have some context. Sacred breath is our theme for this month, bringing in the magic of the breeze, aromas that fill the air and changing our energies with air manipulation. You will have the cleansing power of the breath of nature while centering your soul and mind. So that is everything that is in this box is surrounded around that sacred breath theme. Moving right along, there's this little pouch. So there is a little write up in here. 
This is the ritual. Like I said earlier when describing the boxes, there often is a ritual included. This one is the sacred breath ritual. It says everything, everything that you need for this ritual is chamomile flowers, lavender flowers, peppermint leaf, ribbon feathers, and a pen. And that's probably why it smells so good in this. It smells amazing. I always like reading the little words for the ritual just because I love the ones that are picked and I think they're really nice. This particular one is sacred breath of wind and storm. I call the universe these words to form into the magic I ask you to give to my soul and in how I live. So beautiful. I love these rituals. I've said this before in the past. If you haven't seen any of my videos though, I love the rituals that come in this kit. If you just have a lot going on and you don't have the time to really sit down and kind of put your energy into creating your own ritual, or if you are just beginning and kind of don't know where to start, it's really helpful to have some sort of guidance. I said this in my last video too, I'm not in part of like any coven. I do practice individually. So it is kind of a nice feeling sometimes to have a, a spell that I know other people are also doing. If they do get this box, it feels really nice to have that somewhat community because I do feel like I have a community of people that I've met here on YouTube and it's really nice to connect through with things like this. So I think it's really nice and I love the rituals that come in this kit. So like it says in what is needed, there is the flowers, the leaves, the ribbon and the feathers in this little pouch. Everything that you need to do it aside from a pen, which I'm sure all of us have in our house. Um, so this is the little ritual that comes for this month. Nestled in your little bag are all the contents you need to create your sacred breath wind ritual. There is a ritual scroll, a long ivory satin ribbon, herbs of chamomile, peppermint leaf, lavender, and feathers. Use this ritual to connect to the wind energy outside create your manifestations, and send them out into the universe on the breeze. Whew. All right. Sorry if I have shifted a little bit. Let's see if I can get it back where it was. My camera died. Good thing I have three camera batteries. Otherwise, I don't know what I do. But like I was saying, I was talking about the ritual kit. It is really nice as well if you are somebody who's really busy, if you struggle to find time to do stuff for yourself or self-care. It's really nice to get something once a month. So at least once a month, you could dedicate some time to yourself find some time to integrate some self-care and do a ritual in your own time just to make yourself feel really good. Even once a month is going to help the slightest bit to make yourself feel a lot better, more connected to yourself and your higher self. So I think it's really, really nice just to get these at least once a month. And I believe this should be the last note. There is two more things in this box. Let's see what this one is. Is this a room spray? It is this little spray bottle and it has a dragonfly, so the sticker, yeah, a little dragonfly sticker on the bottle. The bottle is beautiful, by the way. It's like a frosted bottle. I love that. And of course the dragonfly mimics the dragonfly that we got in the print, so that's so, so pretty. I don't know if this is a facial mist or if it's a spray, so I'm just gonna peek on, I'm gonna cheat and peek on the little scroll just to see so I can spray it and actually know what I'm talking about. Okay, it is an aura spray, so it is to spray around you in your space. And I'm going to spray it right now around me. It smells so fresh. I think it's super refreshing even to like feel the coolness of air on me. And I'm very connected to water as an element. I'm a Pisces and I've just always been connected to the ocean and to energies of water. So having something just like little droplets of water and like feeling that is really nice. I like to do both. Um, even though I am in a place where I can burn things, if you're in a dorm or if your family doesn't like when you burn stuff that smells, having any type of like spray, whether it's an aura spray or a room cleansing spray is a really nice option if burning things isn't accessible for you. In your frosted glass bottle, you have a delicate sacred breath aura spray made from several essential oils inspired by nature and plants that represent the element of air. The ingredients include water, alcohol, and pure essential oils of patchouli, bergamot, lavender, clary sage, citrus bliss, and midnight forest blends. Shake it well, then spritz some into the air to cleanse your aura and to breathe in the magic of nature's aromas. It can be used right before meditation or with your fan to raise your vibration. Now we're on the last item for the Sacred Breath Wolf in Time July box. And it is the material, the crystal that is included in the box. Ooh, we have a sodalite half polished point. That is so pretty. I actually don't have any half polished points. It's so funny because like I have so many stones and rocks and I got one, was it last month or was it the month before? And it was a carnelian flame. And I said, I don't have any flames. And now here I am, I don't have any half polished points. 
And now I have this beautiful sodalite. Your premium sodalite is a rough crystal with a polished point and a flat shaved surface that I could stand on its own. It is made of chloric sodium aluminum silicate and comes in blue, gray, white cream, blue green, and red brown. It helps you perceive where your path lies, creates guidance for spiritual growth, creates a place for higher understanding without ego, and enhances your abilities. Sodalite also supports a more relaxed perception of life, eases worry, stress, and anxiety, and gives you an elevated perspective. Use it to enhance your meditation practice, deepen your tantric breath, or by your bed to help you relax. That was the Wolf and Time Box for the month of July. And now we have our big box, the Luna Lux box, which has 10 items in it. My little scissors are gonna get to work and open this bad boy up. Ooh, this one already looks super different. So the top says sacred breath meditation ritual. So this one is a completely different ritual. So it's not the same thing. You are getting completely different things in the two boxes. That's pretty amazing when you think about it, that each one has completely unique items for each individual box. It's definitely a lot of work and effort that goes into curating these boxes. So this is a completely different ritual. This one is the sacred breath meditation. You need an incense burner, an incense or potpourri. Potpourri? Poopery. Oh my God, I almost just said poopery, guys. Because... <laughs> Do you guys use poopery? Because like, that's a staple. It's seriously a staple. And I'm gonna read again the little ritual saying, just because I love it, that I'm like addicted to hearing these and I love when it rhymes and they always rhyme so perfectly, it makes me feel good. It says, sacred breath, I draw you in with light and healing to begin. Positive energy vibrate through. May all my messages ring true. Isn't it so satisfying when things rhyme? I just, I could have never, I think I said this about, I can't do haikus. I don't like when it's just like random, like rambling. I don't like those um, ones. Oh my God, who's that famous person that has those, that entire book and there's like five words on every page. That doesn't resonate with me. Things that rhyme always have resonated with me. I love it, it's just so satisfying to me. And anytime I do any type of like, spell that I create myself, I like to make sure that it rhymes as well. I just, I like that. So this is the, meditation ritual that comes in the Luna Lux box. You have everything you need in your box for the included grimoire page for the sacred breath meditation ritual. It will help you further connect to the power of your breath, connection to the universe, and taking your spirit into a high vibration. Next. Ooh, this is a really unique oracle card. It is a square and mine says choices. This is super relevant in my life right now. Um, when I did my tarot reading yesterday, um, death came up and it's like a lot about things changing in your life and letting go of things and I'm in a place where like I have to make choices for myself in order to get into a better place and be a better person so choices is very 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 relevant to me so this was my oracle deck for this month oracle deck my oracle card excuse me your intuitively drawn card is from the messages from the light meditation deck by Joyce Huntington with 52 cards and a full guidebook, this deck brings you visionary insight to your path, helps you illuminate ordinary things in life, and helps you with connecting past the surface and beyond the conscious mind. Bring it into your meditation ritual, place it on your altar in your grimoire or journal to reflect upon its meaning to you. And this full deck is available on the website. Oh my gosh, we have one of these stickers. This one's beautiful. So this was the same sticker that was used, not the same butterfly, but the same type of sticker. Here she is. So pretty. Sacred breath wind ring. This one says what you need to do this, sacred breath wind ring, is a golden ring, three satin ribbons, three golden ribbons, a leaf ribbon, raw hemp string, and a pen. And there are little drawings on how to create this wind ring. That is so cool. We haven't gotten to all of this yet, but the fact that the instructions are there means that that is one of the items in the box. Ooh, and next we have this different print. Again, completely different print than last time. These are blue jays or bluebirds. I actually don't know which is proper, blue jay or bluebird. I'm sure it'll say when I read it, but two beautiful blue birds. And it is in like this um, plastic casing, which is again, really unique. I think this is the first time I've had one of her prints come in this, but it's really nice. It's protected. If you wanted to keep it in this, you definitely could. 
or you can frame it or do whatever you'd like. Um, but it is really nice that it comes in this. I haven't seen it come in this before. Gosh, I can't even like, there's sometimes I look at like the shading and like the painting of the wings and it's like insane. It's so good. Upon a Breeze is an original watercolor painting of two blue jays reuniting on the summer breeze, cherry blossoms floating around as they fly. Blue jays represents confidence, potential, and wisdom. They have the energy center of the solar plexus, the mineral amber, and are the element of air. Shamans have a special dance to merge with the blue jay and take on its power for special healing, and in South America, the blue feathers are used in ritual for incense and communication. The cherry blossom tree is sacred to many different cultures, and in Japanese culture is a representation of how precious and precarious life can be. If you would like to see the shaman ritual and the time-lapse video of how it was made, go to the Luna Loft on YouTube. Ooh, what is this? So next is this, and this is, I don't know what this is. I always try to explain it before I even see it. Let me open it up and see if I can get an idea. So I do think that it is a tapestry, because tapestries often come with these little hanging things. This is like a really soft tapestry, it almost feels like a blanket. It's so crazy. Oh, oh my God, it's so cute. It's literally a moon with like butterflies and flowers. That is so cute. Let me stand up and show you guys this. You will not be able to see. Look at how pretty this is. Beautiful full moon. I wish you guys could like reach through and feel how soft it is. It literally feels like a blanket or something. And there is nothing like going outside when it's beautiful out at night and it's warm enough where you're not freezing, especially up where I live. I live in New England. So this time of year is the best at night because it finally is nice and comfortable and you don't have to put a coat on and it really is nice i remember like even when i would go take my dog out to pee i would always wear my mask and now that we don't have to wear masks anymore now that we're vaccinated i remember the first time i went out and just was able to just breathe the air it was so insane i feel like we take a lot for granted so i think the sacred breath thing is really good in this time as well for that reason too it's just nice to be able to like breathe in fresh air again because i feel like i was missing out on that for quite some time so i just appreciate so much now that element the element of air i just found a whole new appreciation for having not been able to breathe fresh air in so so long because it was just behind a mask for obviously good reason we needed to be safe and it was a crazy time that we were all living in and now that we're slowly getting back to normal it is just really nice and recognizing maybe some things that we might take for granted and in this case for me it was definitely air and just being able to breathe the air so going outside at night this just totally reminds me of that with this beautiful full moon i love going out and just being in the moonlight when i take my dog out at night it's just so nice. It's a nice quiet time to just be outside and appreciate the air. Soft and bright, your new moon cloth can be used hanging up on your wall, draped on your altar, or as a meditation rug. It is used in the included ritual for your focus point and has the energy of summer flowers, a bright starry night, the abundance of the super moon and the breeze as you can see the dandelion seeds and leaves blowing across the moon's beautiful face. So this is a feather. Not sure what this is for just yet, but I'm gonna put this aside. This metal bookmark is in vintage copper and is just right to hold your place in your new magical book. The feather can represent any bird that you connect to as your spirit guide, totem animal, or familiar. Birds have always been seen as the messengers from or to the gods and connect us to the sky. Feathers are the element of air and as you keep it in your books, remember that you are taking your knowledge to higher places of meaning. Let me grab this. I, I keep forgetting to take the scroll now. I'm just like too excited to dive into everything. There is another one of these little stickers of a little bug. Everything just flows together so well with the theme. Let's see if I can do this again without ripping it. The theme, again, I should have read this in the beginning and I totally forgot. Sacred Breath is the theme for the Luna Lux box this month, bringing you the magic of a warm summer breeze, the breath of the universe, and the wind of the storm. We will bring you closer to your own breath with meditation, teach you new ways to work with the elements, and help you create ways to capture the power of air. That is so, so beautiful. Love that. I actually am re-getting into meditation a lot more. I started using the Headspace app back during the pandemic. They had this promotion where they were giving anybody who had lost their job due to COVID um, a free year of the Headspace Premium which was really amazing. I did not have a job because of COVID and I thought that was really amazing for them to do. I did sign up for it and I loved using it. I used it literally every day. Um, and then I fell off a little bit towards the end of the year and then we moved. 
and then I slowly started getting back into it. Um, of course, the year ended with my premium subscription, but I did buy it again because I just saw so much value in the way that they do the guided meditations with Headspace. I just struggle a lot to just sit in silence. For some reason, my brain just loves to go crazy. So Headspace has been super like beneficial to me in learning how to just sit and be with my breath. So I think like stuff like this is really helpful and Headspace has helped me a ton um, in just like being present. So I feel a lot more confident now that I've had this, you know, beginning another year. I think after this year of having Headspace and really just practicing the guided meditation and just learning how to do it myself. I don't think I'll have to renew and get it again, but meditation has been a huge part of my morning routine. I do it every single day before I go to work. So love that about this theme that it has a focus on meditation. So it is a little different than, than the Wolf in Time box. So I want to get this because this is like jumping out at me. There's this little red box. There is some writing on the top. Only a quality comes from nature. So I believe that might be Arabic. Oh my God, is this a lotus? This is so pretty. Oh my God, is it an incense burner? Oh, I think it is. Cause that was on the thing, wasn't it? <gasps> this is so pretty. This is gorgeous, hold on. Let me put it all together. <gasps> this is insane. It's focused on my face and not this beautiful piece. Look at how beautiful this is. That detail is ridiculous. Stop it right now. <laughs> I love it. There also is this little piece here. And this looks like it would be for like stick incenses. So if you didn't have loose incense, if you have like a stick, you can stick it in there and stand it up like this. Does that make sense? This is gorgeous. I love it. This unique incense burner is in the shape of the magical lotus and has a piece for you to add any stick or use charcoal or resin. It is in vintage copper and its intricate petals cup the aromatic smoke that will bring you both smudging and aromatherapy. The lotus aids you in your spiritual growth, boosts psychic abilities, opens the chakras, and settles you into your authentic self. It offers protection, cleansing, peace, and balance with support in self-love and bringing abundance. Use your incense burner for the included ritual or for your meditation practice. Oh, and then we have some little pieces here. This looks just like some herbs. I don't know what this little baggie is yet. We do have a little baggie of herbs. Oh no, this is the potpourri. Potpourri, potpourri, oh my God. This is the potpourri. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, I was gonna say, I smelled it and it smells so good. It's very warm. I don't know what this is, but it smells great. And I can't even describe what it smells like. It smells like something. It smells like something. Ah, <laughs> oh, I love it. I don't know what it is. It smells good. It smells warm and it smells good. Okay. <laughs> Next we have, this is all the stuff for the um, wind ring. So we have the actual ring. Ooh, it's gold, it's so pretty. We have the ribbon, we have the leaf ribbon, the golden ribbon, the leaf ribbon, and the satin ribbon, and some hemp string. So that is everything that is in here to create the sacred breath wind ring. I can't wait to put this together for you guys. Oh my gosh, when I show my, when I show my little like close up, it'll be the like completed version of this. I'm very excited. In your canvas bag are all the parts to make the included DIY kit for a wind ring. The instructions page is included so you can see how to make it step by step with all the following essentials. Three ivory satin ribbons, three gold ribbons, green leaf ribbon, gold ring, and raw hemp string. I had to see the crystal of course because I laid my eyes on an obelisk and I had to know what it was. It's really pretty. This reminds me of um, hawk's eye actually, but like more gray, like a charcoal gray. It almost also looks a little bit like larvikite, how it has that like bluey hint to it. Really, really pretty though. And I know literal nothing about this, quite honestly. I'll be the first to tell you when I know nothing about something. That is so pretty. I love getting new things that I don't have. It's like the coolest thing ever. This premium tower of astrophilite is a complex mineral with potassium, sodium, iron, manganese, and titanium silicate. 
It only forms in blended crystals which often occur in starbursts. It is a special and rare crystal that can help you communicate with celestial beings, interdimensional energy, and other civilizations from the past and into the future. It activates the entire chakra column and helps the body radiate with pure light. It can assist in getting rid of negative energy and entities attached to you and turn dark beings back to the light. It will help you accept your shadow self with wholeness, give you hope when you are fearful of judgment, and helps you find the light in the darkest corners of your soul. You'll be able to reclaim your full power with this crystal and once again feel empowered and free, such as the energy of the storm, the universe, and your higher self. There is a full-size book on the bottom, a guide to empowering yourself through earth, air, fire, water, and spirit, bewitching the elements. This is a huge book, by the way. It is like a full-size book. It is by Gabriella Herstic, author of Inner Witch. There's something about books that are like bright white that I love. And the smell of books. Mm, amazing. <laughs> Ooh, I'm just going through. There's information about the zodiacs, tarot spreads, fire, so the different elements, crystals for particular elements, sigils. I see phases of the moon, ritual baths, more astrology, pentagram to acknowledge the elements. This is awesome. I'm sure there's so much information in here. I'm going to read the back really quick just to have a little bit of context. It says, empower yourself by connecting to the five elements through meditation, breath work, tarot, crystals, rituals, and journaling. It's the new age of enlightenment and more and more people are embracing witchcraft and other spiritual practices to tap into their inner strength and resilience while aligning with something larger than themselves. The tools that Gabriella Herstic offers in bewitching the elements will help you to connect to the universe and your inner light. Committing to a path that serves our authentic selves is a radical act. When we do this work alongside nature by turning to the elements, we find a map back to our intuitive and energetic wisdom. Through earth, learn how to ground and create compassionate boundaries. Through air, harness the breath, balance the body, and find presence in the moment. Through fire, embody passion and sexuality, burning away what no longer serves you, and learn to constructively work with anger. Through water, explore your emotional depths and come back to the heart. Through spirit, connect to your own sense of power, embracing all the lessons of the element. That's beautiful. I can't wait to read this. I needed a new good book to read because I feel like I've been a little stagnant in my reading. I really want to start to read a little bit before bed instead of just like being on my phone. So I'm going to put this right by my nightstand and I'm going to get started. This book by Gabriella Herstic is a guide to empowering yourself through earth, air, fire, water, and spirit, or the five essential elements. It will bring you rituals, insight, wisdom, and practices for using the elements in your daily life, your magical path, and in your meditation with the power of breath. Look up the section specific to breath work to really dive into a deeper trance on your meditation journeys and how to use air to empower your spirit to a higher self. And the last item in here is this little cylinder here. Ooh, these are incense. Oh, this smells so good. It's so fresh. Oh my gosh, I wish you could smell this. Like, why can't you smell things through the screen? It literally smells so fresh. What the heck is this scent? I'm opening this one right now. So yeah, I'm blown away. I've never smelled Alderwood Japanese stick incense. I've never smelled that before. Let me see if I can fit that in the incense burner to just show you guys. It smells so fresh. Like. I feel like a lot of times with incense, and I don't particularly mind this, but it feels like heavier because, but not in a bad way. It, it still feels cleansing and like refreshing, but it's heavier because it's smoky. At least the ones that I usually gravitate towards, I just naturally go towards those, but they are a lot like smokier. So sometimes I want like a scent from a candle. Sometimes I want essential oils because that's like super light. like. This reminds me more so of what like essential oil smells like because it's very light. It's not heavy and smoky smelling. And I've never said that about an incense that it smells fresh and like a breath of fresh air. This smells so light and so airy and beautiful and I need to light it right now. So I just popped it in like this, if you guys can see. And I'm gonna light it right now because I just, I have to. I don't know if you guys have watched me this long but I got this lighter um, holder this little gold lighter holder from goddess provisions and it is my favorite thing to use now to light things I've had it ever since and every time I get a new lighter I just immediately put it in this 
I was sitting here so long just smelling it with my eyes closed that my I over recorded and I had to restart filming but this is so nice it is so light again it's not like a heavy incensey smoke so if you're not somebody that likes incense because you think it's a little on the heavy side I know when I was still living at my mom's house she would like run into my room whenever I was burning incense because she's like that's so bad for your lungs don't breathe that in this smells so light and just nice it smells really really nice I'm gonna put it over here so we can film the room I have included both Alderwood Japanese stick incense made of essential oils and a handmade pouch of organic herbs and flowers to use in your burner Alder is a sacred tree of Celtic astrology and the Druids associated with the fox, the raven, and is also known as the Battle Witch of the Battle of Trees saga. It holds the properties of charisma, protection on journeys, self-confidence, bravery, leadership, and spiritual growth. It also has been used as a sacred incense by ancient monks and priests for centuries. The potpourri pouch is either a blend of helichrysum, honeysuckle, or star anise, or chamomile, cinnamon sticks, and calendula. You can either burn them with a charcoal disc or you can simply use them as is without any smoke, just the aromas. So that was everything for both July boxes from Wolf and Time, both the Wolf and Time and the Luna Lux box. Again, I feel like I say this every time, but like I'm seriously blown away, especially now getting to open both of them and see just the unique items that were selected for both. While they both are surrounded kind of around that theme of sacred breath, both were just so unique in their approach to that theme that it just makes it super different and it definitely comes down to you whether you want a smaller box with five items or if you would you know want a larger box with more items to dedicate to your practice um, but i feel like either way you really can't go wrong with whatever box you choose um she always does such a fantastic job always hits the theme like literally a nail on the head it's amazing that incense smells amazing it's still burning over there so so nice and i just absolutely love everything i'm so excited to work with this box and do the rituals that were included in it and really focus on again returning to our breath and focusing on the element of air like i said it's something that we might take for granted every day we breathe constantly without even thinking about it so really just being present being in the moment and appreciating you know the element that keeps us all alive keeps us all here so that is it for today's unboxings i have two unboxings today so so exciting um let me know what you think down below would you get this box are you already getting this box which box are you getting let me know i love to hear from other people again i do have my x wolf 15 code if you want 15 percent off your first box if you want to give it a shot for next month which actually i do know what the next month theme is it always says it on the bottom of the scroll next month august is going to be transcended soul guided by spirit rebirth and soul magic if that sounds like something you'd be interested in i will leave the website down below for you to check out and i'll see you guys in my next one bye